Hello all my magical friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am joined by my daughter Sky. Hello! We are going to be trying some Harry Potter sweets for you and giving you our opinions and letting you know all about them. I'm really excited. Yeah, really excited. Don't forget if you are new and haven't done already then please hit the subscribe button to become part of my little magical community and turn the notification bells on as well to be notified every time I upload a video and you can always go and check me out on my social media. Big shout out as well to my patrons, you guys are amazing. If you are interested in joining us on Patreon, the link is in the description down below. You can go and check it out. Okay, so I went online to the Harry Potter Studio Tour online shop. I didn't actually sadly go to the Studio Tour this time around. But like I said, I did go online and buy all these items. They are purchasable from the online shop. So everything I've got here to try, you can go online and buy yourself without having to go all the way down to the Studio Tours. But if you get a chance to go to the Studio Tours, then definitely go because it's amazing, unbelievable. I'm really, really gutted that I couldn't actually go and buy these whilst I was there. But I thought the next best thing is to go online and get all these sweeties myself. So yeah, which one do you want to try first, Sky? Which one do you want to go for? You pick. Ooh, I really want that one. You want to go for the fudge flies? Okay, yeah. so we've got the fudge flies. These were five pounds. As you can see, this is the packaging they come in. It's not particularly sort of Honey Dukes-esque themed sort of packaging. Like obviously this is the typical Honey Dukes packaging, but I do really like the packaging. So we've got some flies going all the way around here. And obviously it says fudge flies, milk chocolate flies with fudge flavoring. So they're not pieces of fudge with chocolate on. They're actually fudge flavored chocolate. So I'm very, very excited about that. They sound yummy. They do, don't they? I'm a bit worried that I'm going to be a bit grossed out by the shape. I'm not going to lie because, you know, flies are not something that I typically eat on an average day. So I'm hoping they're not too like fly-esque looking and then we can escape not, that. Like calves type thing, like calves into like a fly. Ooh, these look interesting. Okay. So they are like little solid chocolate flies. They look like magic stars, but- They do actually. But different shapes. Yeah, they do. So this is one of the fudge flies. So you can just see that there. So go on, can you take one? It doesn't look like it's carved into like a fly. It's, it's probably a mold. Like, it's just like regular. That's nice. Like if You can definitely taste the fudge, but it's not like really, really fudge. You can definitely taste it's like chocolate flavoured fudge rather than mm. fudge with chocolate on. Like, what do you think of those? I like. And the shape of these are not like gross out either. So that's always a bonus. What do you think? I say nine out of 10. Nine out of 10? Yeah. Well, we've got a happy it's customer a, it's, here. It's, a, it's okay, but I think it could have been like a little bit better. What do you think would have made it better? Um, if it was- Maybe a bit of a crunch. <laughs> If it was crunchy. crunchy, yeah. Yeah, I think a bit of a crunch would be better than that. <gasps> Although that probably wouldn't help with the whole fly aspect of it. If it was crunchy, it might have a little bit more of sort of oh, like a fly texture. Yeah. That might mm. be a bit gross. Just put it in the fridge and it'll be crunchy. Yeah. But yeah, those were the fledge fly fledge flies. I can't even talk. <laughs> fudge flies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I quite like those actually. They are really nice. Definitely worth five pounds. Like I said, the packaging is really cute. The taste is really nice. You've got a decent amount of fudge flies in there as well definitely would recommend those okay next we're gonna go for the honey dukes chocolate covered honeycomb this was the one i was most excited to try because i love crunchies i love honeycomb i thought this one was gonna be absolutely perfect i really really love the packaging it's so typically honey dukes the fact that i'm actually gonna save this box and stick it on my shelves as well because it just absolutely screams honey dukes these were six pound so again not too crazily priced especially when you consider the packaging Let's open this on up. My favourite chocolate bar is crunchies. I know, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, these are huge. <laughs> these are really <gasps> big ones. These look amazing. Again, you've got a nice generous amount in here as well. They're really big. Okay, so we ended up having to get some scissors to cut into this because it was really, really difficult. Here you ask, guys, a piece for you. It's massive. That's a big piece. I'm not going to eat it until you eat it. That's okay. You can try yours now. No, you've got, you've got, we've got the same thing. Ready? Right, ready? Three got pieces. Two, one. That is so nice. What do you think? <laughs> 10 out of 10. Oh my gosh. That is really, really yummy. Really, really good. The chocolate's really nice. The honeycomb is spot on. I might steal those. You should not steal anything. After I'm filming, all these sweets are going straight into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Mine yeah. too. Especially those ones. Thank you for it. Mm. Oh, well. In fairness, I had high hopes for these ones and they've not disappointed. They were really, really scrummy yummy. Mm. My honeycomb is like slime. My honeycomb is like stretching. 
I don't think slime is the right word you're thinking of there. They're not textured like slime. It tastes good. I really, really think that they are really, really yummy, to be fair. Okay, so again, stretchy then. Stretchy. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, again, definitely, definitely worth the money. These are really, really tasty. You get a really decent amount inside. They are really scrummy, really big, chunky pieces. Definitely adore the packaging. The packaging is definitely a big plus with these as well. Because like I said, you can obviously pop the box onto your shelves then when you're done with eating them. And yeah, these are brilliant. Really, really happy with those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sky, you can go with the next one. What do you want to go for next? Peppermint toads. Ooh, we're going to go for peppermint toads, are we? Okay, so this is the packaging for the peppermint toads. I'm actually getting really big bow batten vibes from this box. Obviously, the colour is like spot on to bow batten. So I'm getting really big bow batten vibes. I think these look really, really pretty. The packaging on this one is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, let's get it out of the cellophane wrap first of all. Okay, so that's it without the cellophane on. So these are dark chocolate mint toads. These were a fiver as well, I believe. The price tag isn't on these anymore. But yeah, these are, were a fiver as well. And then inside, there we are. We've got the chocolate frogs in there. These are, are really chocolate cute. frogs? But well, they are, yeah, they're toads, not frogs. My bad. <laughs> but yeah, these are like, going to be like after eights. That's what these are going to be like. Oh, I love it. Cute. You want this one oh for you? Oh my god, look how small they are. <laughs> they're tiny. Are. Oh, they smell like mint. Like the second you open that bag, like the mint. <laughs> it's a lot of mint. Don't sniff it that close. <laughs> you can really smell the mint on these things. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. That's mm. nice. Oh, uh, yeah. I think the one thing that would make that better is having like the peppermint cream inside that would have been absolutely amazing like after eights do and things like that after eights are the best mm? after eights are the best mm, after eights are like amazing we have to have like after eights every christmas so far i don't think they're my favorite not really i probably think they're my least favorite up until now to be honest yeah favorite being these ones so far <laughs> um yeah. I like both of these. I, I can't. I can't decide between them. Mm. I just think with them, I think the better option would have been to have the peppermint cream inside. I think that would have been amazing. I think they would have definitely been a lot better with that. They're not bad. They're still quite nice, but I definitely think a peppermint cream inside would have been amazing. Seven out of ten. A seven out of ten. It's yeah. still quite high, to be fair. Because the peppermint is, is stuck on the roof of my mouth, and I can't get rid of it. <laughs> Maybe the next ones will help with that. But yeah, definitely not bad. I do still love the packaging. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. Really, really pretty packaging. And yeah, they are tasty. It's just I think they're just missing that little element, I think, for me personally. Okay, so we've got two things left to try. We've got the exploding bonbons. And we've got a brand new product. I believe it's brand new anyway. Which is the Ravenclaw bar of chocolate. Now, obviously, they have these in all the different houses. And they're all different flavours. Depends on which house you get. So, that's that one. So, which one do you think we should go for first? Do you reckon you should do this one first? And then go for them at the end? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll do the chocolate bar first. Like I said, this is the Ravenclaw chocolate. So, this is milk chocolate with toffee chunks inside. I was really, really tempted to get the Hufflepuff one because Hufflepuff's one had, I think it was orange. I think it was like orange chocolate, which is something that I'm like oh, about. I love orange chocolate. Definitely. But figuring that I'm a Ravenclaw, I had to kind of go with the Ravenclaw one just to kind of try it on camera, even though you're a Hufflepuff, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So it probably would have been all right to get She definitely one. loves um, orange chocolate because she has Terry's chocolate orange and the Galaxy chocolate orange. I do, things. yeah. Have you tried the new Galaxy Orange yet? Oh. I like it. I like it. Right, I'm having trouble opening this, if I'm honest. Oop, there we go. Ooh, okay. Ooh, this is cute. I like this. It is. So, I'll break a chunk off so you can see. So, the chocolate itself has little HPs <gasps> carved oh, into that's them. Cute. They're really cute. I like those. So, let's break off a Bring square out. each. Here you go. Here's your square in my square. There's like crunchy balls in it. <laughs> there's little bits of, yeah, there's little bits of toffee chunks. That's definitely less toffee than these. These definitely taste more like toffee than this does. But this is definitely creamier chocolate. If that makes sense. Like the chocolate is really, really like, mmm, mmm, mm, chocolate. <laughs> if that is like anything to describe it. A very yummy chocolate. A very yummy chocolate. It's a very, very creamy, very delectable chocolate. It's I'd very say posh. Perfect. <laughs> I'd say perfect-ish. Perfect-ish. 
I can't remember how much this was, if I'm honest. I think it was probably about five pounds as well, which in comparison, you think I'm saying stuff like it's a chocolate bar, five pounds is probably quite expensive. But considering it's Harry Potter stuff, I didn't mm. think it was that expensive when you think about that kind of aspect of it. But I think I might have another piece. Excuse me. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really nice. We can have another piece in a minute. I rate it eight point five. Hmm? I rate it eight point five because eight point five. Yeah, because the chocolate was good, but mm. it lost Ooh. that one and a half. No, that two and a half extra points because of the toffee. One and the, a half. No, because there's ten, nine, half. To make it eight. Yeah, so one and a half. Okay, fine. <laughs> We're educating at the same time as <laughs> eating, my lovelies. I just had that second piece then. There was definitely more crunchy pieces of toffee in that second piece. So I think that's kind of bumped up a little bit for me taste-wise. That actually was really, really nice to have a little bit of crunch. Because the first piece it? I didn't have was didn't have any crunch in it. I could taste the toffee, but it didn't have any crunchy bits. So well, that my, was definitely Mine was an 8.5. because I, I, I definitely that rate that a 9. That was really scrummy. I'm not going to lie. Got, it lost that one and a half extra points because um, it needs a bit more toffee in my opinion. It needs piece. a bit more toffee. Wow. We are now going to go for a bit more crunch. Well, we're now going to go for the exploding bonbons, which is the thing that I was most excited to try. The packaging on these things is just insane. I mean, and look on the at side, this. it looks like a Toblerone. She thinks it looks like a Toblerone. It does so, yeah, kind of. these are definitely something that I wanted to try. I was expecting the box to be a little bit bigger. I don't know why. Not necessarily the, like, the chocolates or anything. Just the box itself looked a little bit bigger on the website than it does in the flesh. But not disappointed by it. I just was like, oh, a little bit smaller than I thought. But I'm actually not sure how to even get into these. So these are white chocolate with an orange and pineapple flavoured truffle centre and popping candy. Could you ask for more in a chocolate product? I don't think so. There's a lot going on in here. There's two things oh gosh. about this. What? I don't really like white chocolate and I absolutely despise Well, pineapple. just try it and you never know. We might I despise really enjoy pineapple. It. I'm going to try and open this box without damaging it because, again, this is kind of like displayable. So I want to make sure that I keep it in the best possible condition that I can so I can pop it onto my shelves when that I'm done. That was eight pounds. Yes, this was eight pounds, just so everyone knows. Okay, we are in. Do you want to take a chocolate? And I'm going to take one it? too. Here we go. So we pop, ooh, pop the rest back in there. Ooh, the shape. It's got a swirl. This is a thrilly one. Right. It's very sticky. It has like a toffee feel to it. Toffee? It, it feels like very sticky, yet very solid. Okay. All right, you ready? It, oh, wait, it smells like a quantity street one. This smell actually quite nice. Oh, that one. <laughs> that popping Didn't get the popping candy out. straight away. <laughs> I didn't. No? Mm. That it one popped, the away. first one popped in my throat and it mm. hurt. These are very, um, very sickly, these ones. I don't think you'd have more than one or two before you start to feel a bit sick, but they are really nice. Oh my gosh, that one's even more popping candy. They're definitely living up to the name Exploding Bonbons. <laughs> Are you not a fan? It's exploding <laughs> here, up here in my in the top of my mouth, the roof of my mouth, and in here, and it hurts. You're not a big fan of popping candy, are you? I, I like popping candy, it's just I don't like it when it explodes here. That is very nice, though. If you're not a big fan of popping candy, these are probably not the thing for you, because... Why <laughs> <Flying laughs> movies? <laughs> if you're not a big fan of popping candy, though... I don't know if they were able to hear that. <laughs> then these are probably not for you because there is a lot of popping candy in these. And as I'm talking to you, I can feel it all crackling in exactly. my throat. Exactly. <laughs> but it is really, really yummy. I'm not going to lie. I just find it and just put it in my mouth and destroy it. <laughs> they are really, really yummy though. Um, the white chocolate makes it very rich. And obviously the truffle inside makes it quite sweet. So like I said, it can be a little bit sickly. I definitely don't suggest that you eat the entire box in one sitting because you probably will be sick. But... For like one off a treat, they are very nice. What do you think? I give it a nine out of ten. A nine out of ten. It was very yummy, yet you're just not a big the, fan the, of the crackliness. The, the, the crackleness in here. Really Although it's starting to go now, it's starting to die off the crackles. Yeah. It, there's only like two up the roof of my mouth in the corners. <laughs> She's got complicated. <clears throat> but yeah, that was uh, that was very nice. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so we have tried everything that I bought from the Harry Potter Studio Tour shop. I was actually quite happy with everything that we got. 
I think the products themselves have all got really, really lovely packaging. All the products look really, really pleasing. I think the Honey Dukes packaging is definitely the more appealing packaging for a Harry Potter fan because obviously it's got the Honey Dukes aesthetic. It's definitely a lot more attractive to the eye than, say, the Fudge Flies. But I do think the Fudge Flies have got quite nice packaging themselves as well. Definitely something that I would buy again. As far as favourites and least favourites go, what would you say was your least favourite, Sky? The peppermint. The peppermint, fro uh, peppermint toads? Um, it was between the peppermint toads and this one because of the less um what was it called toffee toffee in that one yeah the toffee in this one and the toffee because... fudge <clears throat> toffee toffee in these ones sorry okay. um and it's because of these because of the cream it mm. should have had cream in it yeah instead. i agree so but i think the least favorite one between the two would have been the peppermint toads i kind of agree to be honest i think the peppermint toads are definitely my least favorite i was actually more excited for these ones i think this and this was the ones i was like really really excited about but I think these kind of let me down just a smidge because they didn't have any peppermint cream. They were just sort of like peppermint flavoured. Um, but yeah, they were just a little bit less exciting to eat than the rest of it, I think. Uh, a favourite for me. Oh, it's actually quite hard. It's between these two for me. I was really, really happy with these. These taste exactly how I was imagining. This was actually a little bit nicer than I was imagining. I just figured this would be quite normal sort of plain chocolate with toffee chunks in there. Um... But to be fair, this chocolate was actually really, really nice chocolate. Really good quality. What about you? It's between these two. For Those me. two. But if Those I had them. to choose, um, it would be these ones yeah. because they're more like a crunchy. And because mm. the crunchies are my favourite chocolate bar, but also because of the fudge flies, the fudge kind of could have been either. I don't know what it is. It could have either been more or less of the fudge. But overall, I like these, but I love these. Love those. Yeah, I think it's probably going to have to be this one, to be honest, because, like I said, the packaging is amazing. The taste of it is amazing. The look of it is amazing. I just thought it was a really, really yummy product. And like I said, this was only £6. So when you put in together how much sort of chocolate you get in, how much honeycomb you get in, and the packaging itself, £6 is an absolute bargain. So yeah, really, really pleased with that one. And I think I'm going to have to say this is the winner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. Winner. So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I hope you really, really enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a magical thumbs up for me so that I know. Don't forget as well, if you haven't done already, please hit the subscribe button to become part of my little magical community and turn the notification bells on as well to be notified every time I upload a video and I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye, you guys. Definitely subscribe to my mom because she's awesome.